Hello everyone and welcome back to part three of my truffle series. In this video we're going to look more at testing and how we can use testing in order to make sure that our contract behaves as it should before we actually deploy it. So in the previous video we made a very simple contract you can see here it's called uh, just hello.sol it's a hello world contract that only stores a name and um, nothing else we have functions uh, we can use in order to set and uh, get that name what we're going to do here in order for us to test this a little bit easier this is going to be a simple testing video nothing complex in the next part we're doing, going to do a more complex truffle project so then you'll learn testing in depth and how to use open zeppelin in depth with truffle so uh, in order to make this video a bit easier, we're going to modify this contract. So we're not going to have any parameters to our constructor. Instead, we're going to set the name to just a string here in the constructor. I'll set it to Philip. And then we're going to add another state variable here. That is a mapping, just so we have something more to check here. So we'll, um, we'll assume that this is some sort of uh, token. So we'll have a mapping that maps... Uh, a balance so let's call this balance so this could map a balance of a token but that's the only thing we want to implement we will just set here balance for uh, message.sender so that would be the creator of the contract to 1000 these are the mod modifications that we will do now we can go ahead and uh, create the test so in the folder here in your truffle folder you have the contracts directory but you also have a test directory so in that directory, you're going to create a new file and we're going to call it my test.js. You can call it whatever you want. And in here, we're going to start off by requesting the actual contract because we'll need to deploy the contract and then work with the contract in order to check so that the variables in the contract are correct and that the state of the contract is correct. But in order to do that, we need to uh, let this JS file know about the contract and what it contains. So we import it, sort of. But in Truffle, we write art artifacts, artifacts that require, and then here's the name of the class, and the class is hello world. Not the file name, but the class name. And that's all we need to import. And then we type contract. So this will be a, a test for, well, in here, we will. Um, uh, we'll have, well, let me just show it. We'll say hello world, that's the name of the contract. And then we'll have a function. So this is like a callback function. That's not gonna, that parenthesis is not gonna be there. We'll just have, this is the first argument. And then the second argument here is a function. And then we'll close all of that. So in here, we're going to put all the tests that uh, are meant for the contract, hello world. And we define each test by it and then Within this it function, we first of all provide the uh, parameter that is a description of the test sort of. So you should read this as a sentence. So it, and what I want to test in the first test is so that the thousand coins are in the right place, that the balance of the owner is 1000 coins or whatever. So it should put 1000 coins in the owner's account so you read this as a sentence right that is what the test should prove and then second argument is a function once again and this function let's just put some spacings here this function should return hello world which is our contract deployed this will uh, make sure that our contract is deployed before we interact with it and then we'll type then because this is a promise you will have uh, there will be a lot of promises here so here and here we'll have another function and this will uh, take the returned element from this function and we'll take it into this next function so that is instance so that's the instance of our deployed contract and in here or we have our instance we're going to return instance dot uh, balance dot calls a balance is our um, mapping which holds the balances we're going to call that and we're going to provide it with the account that we want to to check and that will be accounts zero so truffle helps us here by 
by providing us with all of the accounts that exist within this local uh, Ethereum blockchain that we will have. So then we'll just check with the first account because that's the account that will deploy the contract. Um, and then when all of this is done, then we'll have another promise. And that means we get the balance because that's what we in the end get from this whole uh, chain of promises. And then in here, we're going to assert. So this is how we actually check so that it's correct. So we're going to assert that something is equal. So what is it that, go that is going to be equal? Well, it's the balance and the value of that balance. So we have value off. And then it's going to be equal to 1000. And if it's not, then it was then we need to display an error message. And that's going to be 1000 wasn't in the account. And then we're done with this uh, first uh, first test here. Uh, after this, we can uh, create another test here. But let's go ahead and actually test this first so that you see how it works. Uh, and that means that we uh, need to open up the terminal. And you should be in the folder of your contract. So let me step back here because I created a folder for this one. So travel part three. You should be in the folder where you created your project and then we go truffle develop once again this will launch our local development network and in here we can go uh, truffle compiles we can see that we did everything correctly oops we have something wrong oh i typed it wrong we don't need to type truffle but we're going to type compile and it compiles fine so that means that our changes were actually correct then we can go test the test is going to, oops, take zero arguments, received one. Okay, we forgot to change in our migrations file because here we actually define how the contract is migrated. Oops, the deploy hello. So here we don't have a parameter here anymore for the constructor. So let's remove that in the deploy hello.js file in the migrations folder because that defines how the contract is actually deployed. So here, now our tests are run. When we write test, it will the, say that it used the network develop which is our local network it is working with our contract hello world and the test should put 1000 coins in the owner's account and that is passed and if we for example were to make a mistake here so let's say we have a big project and we're editing something and we make a mistake here and we add another zero here and we try to run this test again it will fail so this uh, is failing that's why it's red and it will say um Assertion error 1000 wasn't in the account, expected uh, 10,000 to equal 1000. So that's why tests are so great, because if we have a large code base, it can be very difficult to uh, keep everything in check once uh, many different team members are working on a project. So these types of tests are very important. We can also uh, play around with the contract in the test file. So we have a, um, a name here, right? So the name is Philip. But we can change the name to set name. So let's do another check. Let's uh, just take copy this, so we don't have to write everything again. And let's create another test. So it, let's just say it should return the name Philip. And in here we can leave this first line here. We're going to make sure the contract is deployed. And after that, we're going to call. What was the? Uh, we're not going to call balance. We're going to call get name. Was that? the right function get name yes without any arguments we're going to call that and from that we're going to get the name and then we can assert that the name is equal to philip and otherwise we will throw the name was not philip then we can try to run that in the console so let's open up the console once again and we will run test once again and here we'll see that it uh, does exactly that so now we have another test and it's passing and let's do something interesting here so we will take the same test as we did last time but this uh, should return the name um, let's just do this should not return the name philip because we're going to change it so then here before we actually return the name we're going to call instance.setName 
and we're gonna call it Bob so um, but we need to put a wait here in order for it to actually wait for this call to finish and then it can return this get name and then the last few things that we need to put async here before the function since we're now using await and then we need to change this here because now we're asserting that the name is equal to philip and that's not the case anymore because this test is going to fail of course because the name is bob so we need to put not equal or we could have put equal and bob but i want to assert that, that the actual set function works so it, it, it makes more sense to me have to have an assertion that is not equal to philip because we want to see if this set name actually works so now we're altering the contract and testing that alteration so let's do test here once again and see if everything is correct look at that should put 1000 coins in the owner's account should return the name philip should not return the name philip and of course as i said we can also do assert equal name bob and then we'll have to change this should return the name bob i think you get it uh, test once again and there we go should return the name bob and if we were to set this to bobby that would not work because the name returning is bob and not is bobby not bob so i hope that you learned something today i hope that you learned how we can use tests in truffle to make sure that our contracts work as we want them to in the next video we're going to dive deep into making a big, pro big project with truffle and deploying it to the testnet so stay tuned for that if you're interested in actually working with solidity on a professional level um, i hope you learned something please leave a comment with your thoughts your ideas whatever you want to say leave a like if you liked the video and leave a dislike if you didn't like it uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel either it means a lot and i know that a bunch of you are watching these videos and not are not subscribed i would love it if you guys hit that subscribe button and uh, stay up to date with the channel i'm looking forward to seeing all of you guys in the next video